I give you a warning around the world. Is there any negative effects to members of a church if the pastor of the church is speaking against men of God? Hello my amazing viewers, welcome back to my channel, Agapain TV, we are glad to have you here today. So guys, in the edition of today's video, we are here with the highly esteemed man of God, um, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome and Prophet Ubed Angel. In this video guys, um, Prophet Ubed Angel will be giving a warning to his church, to his members. But I believe a word for one is a word for all. He, not, he goes ahead to speak and to talk to them about those who go ahead to castigate and talk down men of God being used by God. In his word, and I quote, as long as God still finds it fit to use that person, you have no you business talking down on them. After this, you're going to listen to um, Pastor Chris, teaching I give you a warning God. around the world. Never oppose a man who is still being used by God. If, um, if God still can approve of that vessel to use it, he still needs the vessel. So any man of God you see out there doing wonders by the authority of the Spirit, authority of Jesus Christ, shut your mouth. If you don't agree with their doctrine, shut your mouth. If you don't agree with something that they do, shut your mouth. If it is okay for God to use them, who are you to discount them? <laughs> Same thing with your sister, your brother. Don't oppose. Don't attack. Just be a person of peace. Leave them alone if you don't love them. If you don't like them, rather. But also learn to love those you don't like. Don't just love those you like. Learn to love those you don't like. Because most people are able to like and love the people they like. But God is addressing us today to love the people that are not likable. Are you flowing? The first question here is from Isosa. Isosa is from Nigeria. Dear Pastor Chris, thank you for showing us the truth in the Word of God. I have been wanting to ask, is there any negative effects to members of a church if the pastor of the church is speaking against men of God? And if there is, how can I avoid this? Pastor K. Uh, Pastor, thank you so very much, sir. Thank you for the honor and the privilege to be with you on the set today. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Um, now, if this uh, person had listened through the years to you and what you have taught us in the world, uh, first of all, you would those who have been listening to uh, the message of our pastor will know that it is not required to speak against uh, ministers of the gospel. We don't do that because uh, the scripture is clear on that. Uh, we are not the one to judge what a minister does uh, to his master, his stands or falls, and God is able to make him to stand. So we have never seen you, sir, uh, talking negatively against ministers of the gospel. So we also don't do that. Now the question is, if you are, you have a pastor who is talking about, who is talking negatively about other ministers, if you are within, uh, if you are a, a, a pastor in our ministry, I think the right thing is to draw the attention of the, those who are senior to that pastor so that they can correct him and draw his attention to what the scripture says and what our man of God has said about this because it's not the right thing to do. Um, but there is no negative. What the pastor says is not going to affect the, uh, the, the members, especially if you don't join him. 
in saying the wrong things, it's not going to affect them. <laughs> that's, that's what I think, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And, um, thank you very much, Pastor Ken. Pastor, thank you very much for this opportunity to be with you on set this first day of the month of September in our global um, communion service. Um, Pastor, like the highly sick Jane has said, over the years, you've taught us that instead of speaking against the ministers of God, we should pray for them. It is spiritually unethical to be speaking against uh, ministers of the gospel, not even expected of Christians, to talk less of someone who's a minister. He, ministers of the gospel are teachers, pastors, shepherds, and the shepherd is one who should teach by precept and by example. It will affect the members in a way because he's becoming a bad example if he's talking against them. They're supposed to learn how to honor the ministers of God or learn the word of God from him, from the, from the pastor. Um, if a pastor who has been in this ministry is speaking against other men of God, um, it is obvious that the person has not been listening. The pastor has not been listening. So it is better to um, do what the man of God has said than to copy what the pastor is saying. Um, chances are that the particular pastor, if he knows, because sometimes some people are not even aware of what they do, if, uh, if the pastor is listening, you should not speak against the men of God. It is better to pray for them. Paul told, told the saints to pray for him. The man of God has led us in series of prayers for the ministers of the gospel. We do better by praying for them. We help by praying for them. And then we believe more in them by praying for the ministers of the gospel because as we pray, God is able to direct them properly by his spirit. So he's been not a good example. That is the way it will affect the members. Is not being a good example because um, it's either the members are going to join him in doing it or they're going to be confused as to the mind of God concerning that. Um, he said the scripture, who are you to judge another man's servant to his master he stands or falls? So that's what the Bible says. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, my family, there we have it um, with this man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, Ayakilome, and Prophet Stupid. Thank you. You know, guys, it is so, so amazing and, and shocking that even the body of Christ is not exempted from the mockery going on about this man of God. I thought we are supposed to set the standard. But now we are giving the world more things to say about those who are ordained by Christ. And I will advise if you are listening to me and you are one of these people who follows every trend about the Christian um, mocking um, the, the, the Christian faith, I will want you to do this from that act because the Bible says there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end is destruction. Prophet Ubet has said it, and um, Pastor Chris has also said it. So please, let's be guided, please, so we don't use our hands to put ourselves into trouble. Thank you for staying tuned till this point. We are glad to have you here, like I said earlier. Please hit the subscribe button if this is your first time to this channel. We are hoping to see you in our next wonderful edition. Bye.